A vision of the sporting future, where robots are the heavy hitters. A high-tech contest involving high school students from China and the United States, but a competition where the emphasis is on partnership. It's about growing together. It's about helping everyone do what they can at the best of their ability. And I think this is something that everyone can learn from. Some of the robots are operator controlled, others computer guided. Robotic sport began in the United States 20 years ago. The Chinese have only been at it since 2012. And national pride was on display. For most of the US students, it's their first visit to China. It's really cool to bring something that we know so well and to bring it here and introduce them to it and uh, get to see their faces when they see something new that we can do and that they can do possibly in the coming years. Both groups had six weeks to build and design their robots, programming them in a range of sporting skills. Away from the contest, the emphasis is on mentoring. Yang Chida has been a beneficiary of that and says the event has reinforced his ambition to become a scientist. Since the, the robot is pretty interesting and it is stimulating, me and our teammates are all have an interest in scientists science and technology. Relations between China and the United States have been strained, with both countries accusing each other of stealing sensitive trade and technology secrets. But the focus of this event is sharing technology. I think it's great, yeah, the symbolism of uh, the, uh, the cooperation between teams and also the cooperation between uh, United States and Chinese groups. International robotic sport is expensive. Sponsors and parent-teacher groups in the United States donate money for budgets that can be as high as $120,000. But that probably felt like money well spent today. Adrian Brown, Al Jazeera, in Shenzhen, southern China.